don't buy a big travel trailer and come to Yellowstone. <laughs> the big issue is that there's not a dump here. It's like a skating rink out here. What? Ain't gonna happen for us. No. We can't fit. Four rangers come up here and say, you're not supposed to do that. Good morning. Welcome to Yellowstone. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Have thank you. Day. You too. I was so preoccupied with like the Tetons and leaving the Tetons and making sure we did everything we could in the Tetons, you know, in between trying to juggle work and hanging with friends that I completely forgot how magical Yellowstone is. It was like overshadowed for a second, but now that I'm back, <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of bummed because we have to get to Norris first come first serve because there's not a lot of sites that will fit this. Mm -hmm. So even if there's a 20 sites open, I mean, I think only two could fit us. Right. So, I mean, we're, we're in the, the short end of the lottery there. Yeah. So we can't, we're driving by these cool sites that I want to stop at real quick and we can't. Nope. We got to keep going. As far as the drive goes, so we just turned off right above um, Grant Village, mm -hmm. and this goes along Yellowstone Lake. So there's not a, look. Oh. <laughs> there's so many cool things, like every direction. There is. There isn't as many geysers on this side, mm -mm. but this is where the wildlife are. This is where the elk are. This is where the bison are. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the lake. And the lake. Yellowstone, let me talk about the magic. Steam just comes up everywhere mm -hmm. and there's just blue waters and orange waters and I love it I just love it it's like another world it Yellowstone feels is. like another planet hopefully hopefully we hopefully we get, get a sight it's sight. gonna work it's gonna it's work gonna happen Yellowstone. Do you smell it? It's like, did our black tank explode? <laughs> Lily, how excited are you for the smells of Yellowstone? It woke me up. <laughs> it woke you up. <laughs> <laughs> People have a hard time not pulling over at pullouts and just like oh, yeah, sightseeing they, while they're driving. They just slam on their brakes. Or they swerve all over the place. And anybody that knows you're driving through any national parks or state parks where there's wildlife, people just, they forget all of the rules of the road. Once they've slammed on their brakes, parked barely off the road, then they don't even look and they run across look at the this. road. Look, look what's happening in front of us right now. Oh, I don't know. But no, it's like, uh, it's like, it's like driving in parking lots. People kind of lose their minds. They forget, they're, they're off the road. They're like, I'm good now. I don't have to pay attention. <laughs> so many accidents in parking lots. Jess just went in and checked. Uh, I don't know, it's not looking good because there's a, there's a line of a, a few RVs already, so. Oh gosh, we're in the thick of it. Okay, what do we got? I think we're in. We're the very last RV that got accepted. Yeah. Um, the only issue we have is if someone shows up in the next 20 minutes and decides to renew, we're booted. The big issue is that there's not a dump here. I thought I had read that we had a dump here, so there's water, so I think we're gonna be okay for a few more days. Yeah, we're good. The closest one to here is Canyon. So we gotta wait 20 minutes. We gotta wait. 20 Twenty-three minutes. 
Alright. Get ready um, for two and three to leave. Alright, I'll go down and chase them out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give Ten o'clock. We made it. <laughs> Woohoo! Rollins are in. We're in. So you technically are the last. Let's do this. It's the only spot they have and they say it's a 27 foot site. <laughs> We're gonna see how this goes. This is, this is the turn she was concerned about. It's pretty tight. Yeah, it's a little of this. Wow. Whoa. And it's this one with the picnic table back over there. I feel like it's backwards. Isn't that angled the other way? I'm gonna be so sad if we just waited in line for almost two hours and we can't fit in. Well, we went the wrong way. This is only a one way. How in the world do they expect somebody to do this? How are you supposed to get in this? We can't, we're not gonna fit in that. We're gonna have to pull up the wrong way. Okay. Can you go watch the trailer? Yep. Hold on, don't move. That is about as tight as we ever want to get around other people's cars and RVs. We'll see. Just keep me off this. Yep. Take it slow. Okay. Have your windows down because our phones don't work. It's okay. He's gonna he's gonna rub against these a little bit. Yeah, he's gonna go in the ditch. He knows. Okay. Then keep going. Keep going, Dad. I don't know. You don't think so? You're gonna, you're gonna go in the ditch like in a couple seconds. It's the first time that we can't do something. Do you want to look at where you are right here, Corey? All right, are we calling this? If this stump wasn't here, we could do it. Because yeah. I could back straight over that. But I'm not interested in Wrecking the truck? Wrecking the truck with the trailer right now. Okay. All right. I don't like giving up, but. I know. Okay. Ain't gonna happen for us. It's not gonna happen? No. We can't fit. I even went like the wrong way. We drove back in the wrong way. Spots. Why, you have room? Ours is like, well. It's a pull, you pull right in. It's kind of narrow at one point. That's the only thing, but we even said, I wonder if they would have fit here. Okay. Let me go park up here and we'll, we'll walk your walk site and see if we can. Walk up to us and then let's look at it. Okay. New plan, we have switched sites with the Roland and hopefully we fit. Okay, you think this is gonna work? I think this is gonna work. Okay. We, we just have to go the wrong way around the loop again. Again. <laughs> because of our slide. National parks are so tight. This camp is gonna yell at us going the wrong way. Okay. About as easy. We're about foot off. We're all past it now. Okay, so this is our site we're pulling into right here. Those pretty girls. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. <laughs> Look, everyone's filming at the same time. <laughs> John's filming. Whitney's filming. Corey, 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 Corey. <laughs> now this one's easy compared to what we just tried to do. Yeah, no kidding. Are we in? Like even with the truck? We'll be in with the truck. Huh. Cool. So I don't know if we filmed it or not, but we just got the four rangers come up here and say, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> and you're going the wrong way. We're all buddies now though. But we're... then we explained why and they were like, actually that was the smartest thing you could have done. Yeah, they didn't know about the slide and then it made sense. I can't believe it, but I think we actually have a site. We have a site and everybody knows what's going on. 
and they just said, if you don't mind, just come get us when you leave and we'll just make sure nobody's coming this way. Excellent. It's only like, I don't know, not even a hundred yards. Don't buy a big travel trailer and come to Yellowstone. <laughs> or fifth wheel or anything or, else. Well, you could if you plan. Correct. We said, we showed up this were, morning. Right. Yeah, because that's big yeah. sights here. Okay. Yeah. Guys, we're staying at Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is such a win. I know it's not the ideal place, but this is ideal for us. Do you know how easy that was compared to what we were trying to do up there? When, when we, we turned even... that corner, I said, I mean, how in the world did you even turn that corner? <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't give this to you to begin with. Did they get confused? I don't know. On us? I... I'd much rather have the stairs out than that hanging out in the road. Yeah. It would be nicer to have to walk out instead of walking into the street, but... Yeah, but I don't want to worry about someone hitting it. Babe, we're in. We're in. We definitely earned the right, All right. to claim this site. It is ours. We might pull those stairs in at night. Yeah. At least one wrong. Just in case. I don't know. All right, we're going to jump on here really quick for two reasons. The first is that site. Maybe I could have fit in there. But at the time, the way the day was going, the stress levels of you know getting up super early, leaving the Tetons, the drive day, the two hour wait to get into the site, right. and then just being in a spot that I was going the wrong way. <laughs> I just I just felt like stuff was gonna break right. if we didn't know our limit. The second thing that we wanted to tell you guys about is our Super Bowl Sunday giveaway that is available on Instagram right now. We are giving away three full packages of the Solid Step from Lippert. That includes one Solid Step it includes the lift assist, which helps the stairs go in and out of the RV a lot easier, as well as the storage box underneath. The storage box is what really sold me on it. Like not having the stabilizer stuff like kicking around and having its own storage, I love it. So two winners will be chosen from our Finding Our Someday Instagram page, as well as Facebook, and one will be chosen from our FOS crew. So head over to Instagram to enter. Good morning. We are leaving and heading to Mammoth because it's one of the only places where they have decent Wi-Fi and we need to upload a video that Corey spent the rest of last night finishing. So we're going to go find some service, check out some more of Mammoth, maybe do some of the hikes that we missed last time. And then uh, we're going to make our way around a part of the uh, park that we've never seen before. So I'm excited to go check that out. This is the first good use for death. It's our safety cone. Bouncies. Oh, person. He sees it. He wants it. He jumps across the road. He gets it. We are on the road from Norris to Mammoth. Um, we went to Mammoth last year. Uh, it's funny that the same construction is still going on. I know. So we're going to Mammoth because we did not get our ducks in a row before leaving the Tetons. The video was not done, so we need to not hit this truck <laughs> and all these cars. Holy cow, this is tight. I'm really glad we don't have the trailer on us right now. Yeah. Either way, we wanted to come back to Mammoth anyways because we only did the lower terraces last year and mm -hmm. I really want to do the upper drive and the upper terraces because um, that's where all the cool stuff is. It's a very different feel than the rest of Yellowstone, so it's definitely worth yes. the drive. Even if you aren't like leaving, going up that way, all the way up into Montana, it's it's worth going up and checking out the terraces. The They're terraces really neat. Are, yes, very different than the rest of Yellowstone. We're in Mammoth now, and let's see if we can find some Wi-Fi. Well, this is the, the visitor centers right here. I think that's where we're gonna start with trying to get Wi-Fi. Not a good sign. We did some speed tests all over that place. The best I got was like 500 kilobytes up. Not enough to upload a two and a half gig file. Definitely not. That would take like 15 days. <laughs> so, so our next option is to go down the mountain to Gardner, right outside the park. The saga continues. <laughs> dum, dum, we just dum. have to go to another state to get Wi-Fi. <laughs>
Bye, Yellowstone. We'll be right back. Sure. I hope. How's it going, babe? It's going good. We ended up just transferring the video to our phone and using our phones to upload it through the YouTube app. Nobody had Wi-Fi that was faster. No. The download speeds are super fast, but upload is like nothing. I think we saw 14 up right yeah. now. It didn't take very long. We're at 20 minutes or so. Yeah. There it goes. Now we can resume normal life yes. in Yellowstone. I'm excited. Yeah. You've been working hard on this, honey. Let's go check out Mammoth. Girls, you ready? Yep. This is Roosevelt Arch at the entrance of Yellowstone, and the sign says it was created by an act of Congress in 1872. But I wanted to double check and see when the arch was built, and it was completed on August 15th of 1903 for a cost of $10,000. So and this is the first main entrance to Yellowstone for the benefit and the enjoyment of the people. That's us. We're the people. We're the people. We're the people. <laughs> President Roosevelt was visiting Yellowstone during the construction and was asked to place a cornerstone for the arch. And the cornerstone that Roosevelt laid covered a time capsule that contains a Bible, a picture of Roosevelt, a local newspaper, and other items. So there's a time capsule buried under this. So cool. Well, this is 1903. Wasn't that? That's not the cornerstone? No, maybe that is. No, I think this is actually it. April 24th, 1903. So that must be the, the stone itself. That's awesome. Get a sledgehammer. So fun. Lily. What? Can you guys climb this? They expected us. <laughs> it's where you went to jail if you ruined something in Yellowstone. Yeah, that was the punishment. This is sign taking time. I thought we were done. Are we still going? Just, I'm trying to figure going. out where they are. Okay, we're gonna take a picture. If you do social media anything, if you're out of service for one day, like, it takes a little bit to catch up. It puts you behind a little bit. We're heading back up to, to Mammoth, but I don't know if we're going to get rained out or not. But we're still going to try to do the upper uh, terrace drive. <laughs> Look how packed this place is. This is like the river where you can go swim. Yeah, this is boiling river. It's extra parking. Yeah, that's the parking lot. So yeah, it's nuts. Yeah, no thank you. I, I don't need to go swimming that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to, but... Yeah. Maybe another time. There's elk right over here. This guy's in the middle of the road getting photos of them. <laughs> Did you get the shot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ranger was coming over to yell at him. is old uh, mammoth. You got some info for us? Yeah. What do you got? Well, because it was so strange to have a national park that was protected, there was still like railroaders and like hunters and people who were trying to use the land that was being illegally used. So the army came and they were here for 32 years protecting Yellowstone. It's incredible. They were here from 1886 till 1918. Fort Yellowstone is a tangible reminder of the debt of gratitude we all owe the United States Army in protecting the legacy of Yellowstone National Park and through that, the park idea worldwide. Yes. I like it. We gotta go down there. I know, look. It's down there. I don't know, but whatever that is, it's awesome. Let's go. So that was one thing they said that um, this is like such a rapidly changing environment. Yep. Like this used to be all covered in water right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they say that even after a year, you could come back and it could look different. Huh. This color. must have looked spectacular when it was full though. Yeah, can you imagine? So neat. Look at that, Layla. It's kind of like fur. Huh? It's rock hard. Look at that, it kind of just took over that old tree. It just kind of grew around it. Tell me something. Tell me an emotion, Lily. Tree. 
through emotion. Ready? You got any emotions? Tired. You're tired? I'm exhausted. Daddy! Through emotion. It's soul changing. <laughs> soul changing. <laughs> <laughs> that right. sounded super truthful. Look close here, folks. Is your soul changed? <laughs> and again, we're stopped on the side of the boardwalk. Waiting for Corey. You guys looking forward to walking all the way back up to the truck? I'm looking forward to you staying with us. Let's stop the seat. Place to be. This is the life of a photographer's wife. A theme in your oh. that you'll see is that people lose hats all the time. There were tons at Grand Prismatic last year. I wonder if they have like a drone that they deploy to get it. It's like a so so they get grabbers. Like it's worn off on you are here because everybody comes up and says, we're Look, here. we're here. Touch it. That's Ew. ridiculous. It's on the last sign too. Okay, so we're gonna go. Don't touch it. Don't I'm not be one touching. Of those people. I'm going around this way. We're gonna go around, and then come around this way. Is that what you wanna do? Huh? I just wanna see Canary Springs. I don't know if you see it from over here or you see it from down here. Why don't they have it wrapped all the way around? All right, so we're just gonna come down here just for a little bit. Yeah. Let's see if we can see it. Okay. How do you like the smell, Lil? Just as you remembered. Exactly the same. Wow, that is warm. Holy cow. This is neat. I like walking down in the middle of it. All right, Lil, this is my favorite one. Yeah. This is pretty. Yeah. Check this out, babe. This is the best one for sure. Could like just drone top down, oh. winning. <laughs> this looks awesome. Yeah, this is really cool. Listen to that thunder. Whoa, Lil! Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Yeah, no kidding. I guess coming down when the thunderstorm is looming overhead is the best time. white that is. It's spectacular. Wow. It doesn't look real. No, it doesn't. It looks like an art sculpture, but like it's made itself. It's so impressive. Look at it all pouring down. This is the original infinity pool. these cascades is a must visit it's like a whole new like segment of the you know, magic of Yellowstone I mean check that out it's otherworldly yeah and then to have it like start raining and then have a double rainbow over the top yeah, of it I was complaining about the weather and then I give it a double <laughs> rainbow yeah Ooh, I gotta check those shots yeah it's gonna be cool and our girls speaking of waiting on us have done Incredible today. You guys are the best. I mean, they're used to like, sitting in the truck. They waited on us. Good job, baby. So we left Mammoth and we are heading to Tower Roosevelt. This is something mm -hmm. we haven't done before. Mm -hmm. Whole and new road.
tired, hungry. <laughs> So. It's nine o'clock at night. It's been a long day, and he was up slangry. pretty late last night editing. So we're yeah, slangry. Like, we're slangry. That's a new one. What's that mean? What's that mean? Sleepy. <laughs> Sleepy. Hungry. hungry. And now we're <laughs> slangry. <laughs> That's, That's a good genius, one. Lil. All right. So you got a whole bunch of slangry Nickersons. Yep. We're let's, slangry. Let's go. Have some dinner. There's the dictionary for you. We'll see you soon. We're gonna do. Oh, jeez. That was it. NASCAR evasive movement. That was serious. In his Prius. <laughs> All right. He's back on the road. What are we scared? Whoa, we must have freaked him out. Uh, we'll see you soon. Tomorrow we are doing Grand Prismatic and Fairy Falls and uh, Old Faithful. To Lots to do and show our friends. So that will be next episode. We'll see you soon. so far but we can't really tell because it's covered in hail. There's people out there in tents. I know. Like I keep they're all in their cars. I keep needing I wanted to know if people need to come in here. Can't tell. We gotta just take that take that thing off. You want a towel daddy? There's a towel underneath them. So maybe it was just coming in because it was I partly think open. Okay. Alright, well okay. I guess we'll check out what the truck looks like in the morning. That's what some insurance is for. Can you see how big the hail was? Were there any bigger ones? Did it ones? say anything about a hail? Storm it just said possible thunderstorms. Are any get... bigger ones outside? No, they're about all about this size. They're not. Well, huge, then why did they sound so much louder? I don't know. More dramatic. Maybe they're coming down faster. Because they're denser. Yeah. Those are those things aren't melting at all. Yes. Okay, back to dinner. Yeah. <laughs> These are like marbles. <laughs> no, it must just not have closed. I'm going to fall off this thing. Fall. I'm not gonna lie I'm getting sick of hail uh, check out the truck in the morning but uh, I don't like hail <laughs>